What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I want to show you a technique on how you can projection wrap an object onto another object. Now, if you go to my one video on my YouTube channel, one of the viewers were asking, how do I put a label around something like a glass bottle using Redshift? And so there's an easier solution, like you could use it in a standard render, you could use it in an Octane, but of course I use Redshift. So I'm gonna show you how to do it in Redshift, but you could use it using any method. Basically, you're gonna take a plane and you're just gonna projection wrap it around your object. I mean, it's real simple to do. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Let's go. So I have this Coke bottle that I found free online. Um, I condensed it down a little bit. It was a little bit of a mess. It was a cap in a bottle, but all I did was Google Coke bottle and this is what came up. And so to put our label on here, we're going to use a method that you could use with any render engine. I use Redshift, but you could use Octane or even a standard render engine. And so I'm going to start by just bringing in the camera. I'm going to go to my camera attributes, my coordinates. I'm just going to zero everything out. So it's direct center. And you can see our camera is here like so. And then let me click on this to bring up all my viewports. And I'm just going to bring my camera back. Lift it up here. And so I'm doing this just so I know where the front is in my scene. And so this will be the front. And then later on, you'll see why this is important. So next, I'm going to make a plane. And my plane is what's going to wrap around the bottle here. So let me come over here, make a plane. And then I'm going to come into my object on my attributes. And I'm going to do plus Z. And now that's going to bring our plane up in the upright position. And then I'm just going to go back to my four panel viewport. And I'm going to just shrink it down. Let me come here in my front view. And I'm just going to shape it so that it covers the front of the bottle here. Now I'm going to leave it like this, as you can see on the sides where our polygons are on the bottle. This is open right here. And here's our label. It's not going to wrap around here. And I'm going to show you what's going to happen now. So I'm going to go back to my plane. I'm going to add a few more segments, just say like 25 by 25. And then I'm going to click C on my keyboard to make an edible poly. And now if I bring my plane out just a little bit into the front of my bottle here, I'm going to go and click on my front viewport. This is important. You want to make sure you clicked on your front here because we're going to projection wrap our plane around our bottle and it goes based off the viewport that we're looking at. So I'm going to go to my front here. I'm going to come up to character commands, characters, commands, and project object. Now we want to click on the gear here. And when it first comes up, it might come up correct. Like it should be on points to surface. But if it's not, you know, just make sure you go into your window. Make sure each one of these are on points to service. We hit OK. Give it a couple of seconds to calculate. And then it's going to wrap it around. And so now if we go into our viewport, you can see if I click back on my plane, pull it out a little bit. It's actually wrapped perfectly around the bottle, except for the edges. And remember when we're in our front viewport, when we have this open space right here, like our projection is going to wrap around all the polygons that it sees. And so since there's this negative space here, it didn't have anything to wrap about. And that's why we get these weird edges here. So let me hit control Z a few times to go back to where it was non-constructive. Okay. So I'm going to bring it back out. And if you look at my right window here, my plane is non-constructive. This is before I hit C, I hit control Z to get back to this point. And then I'm going to come back to my front window and I'm just going to align it so that our edges are all touching polygons on the bottle. And if you were, if you really want to get into it, you could, you know, you could perfectly model and shape it around the edges there. But just for time's sake, I'm just going to make sure that all of our edges are within the bottle. And I could even shorten this a little bit. Okay, so let's try this again. I'm going to go back to my plane. I'm going to hit C on my keyboard to make it editable. I hit C. I'm going to make sure I have my front viewport clicked on. 
Look up the character, come down to commands, projection object, and click the gear button. Then I'm gonna click OK, give it a few seconds to calculate everything that's going on. Then whenever it's done, we got a perfectly wrapped label around our bottle. So let me click on my plane. I'm gonna bring it out just a tad bit. So that's not going through like so. And there we go. So now we have our plane against our bottle here. And let me click on my camera here and I'm gonna click on this little button here. So now we're looking through the lens of the camera. And now I'm using Redshift. Like I said, you could do this with any render engine, but let's continue on with Redshift. Now I'm gonna add my Coke label onto the bottle. So I'm gonna come over to my materials, just click material. And I have my Redshift material down here. I'm gonna just double click on this so that I can read label it. So let's call it RS label. All right, I'm gonna double click on this click on edit shader graph and now I have my shader graph up so let me move this stuff over here and I'm gonna go find my materials I already have a coke label and a mask so I'm gonna click and drag my coke label into my shader graph and then I'm gonna connect the color out to my diffuse here so I went from out color click on to the blue base properties diffuse diffuse color and now that's going to feed it into our materials like so. And if I click on my RS material, coming out to my reflection, I can bring my reflections down a tad bit. Let's say like 0.5, somewhere around there. Okay, so now it's time to add the alpha mask. So I'm going to come over to my materials here on the left, click on Sprite, bring Sprite over here. And for my RS material here, out color, I'm going to reconnect that to my Sprite shader input. And then I'm gonna take my sprite out color and plug this into our output surface. So now everything that comes through our RS material is gonna come through our mask here. So make sure you click on RS sprite and in our path, I'm gonna bring in my alpha channel, which I have right here, which is a JPEG. So I bring that into here. So now I have my mask in there and you wanna make sure if you're using like a JPEG, you want to use from um, color intensity, but if you're using something like a PNG that has an alpha embedded, then you could use from alpha. So just make sure that's just one of the small things you want to be wary of. So now I'm going to click the X button on my shader graph and I'm going to come down, drag my label up to my, my plane here. And you can see we have our Coke label here and it's backwards. That's an easy fix. I could just go to my length V, I believe. And let's just make this negative 100 and there we go now it's right side up let me go up to my render settings i'm going to switch this over to redshift um now let me come over to my viewport and that's from a previous render when i was trying this out earlier but there we go so now you can see we don't have our black engine or our black edges that's part of the mask and when you look in our viewport everything's wrapping around perfectly. So now what we could do is we could add some glass to the bottle. So let's go back up to Redshift Material, make a new material, and let's name this one Redshift Glass. So I could double click on my, uh, my material again. And actually, you don't have to go to the shader graph. If you go to RS Material, you can find this preset here, and we have glass. And so I'm just going to use tenant glass. It usually comes up red. Yeah, so I'll just use the default red since it's Coke anyway. And I'm going to click and drag that over to my bottle and replace that material. And then for my cap, I'm going to do the same thing. Just come over, make a new material. Name this one RS Metal. Double click on my material here. Click on RS Material. Use a preset. Let's just use silver. Nothing too crazy. So I'm gonna bring this up, replace it on my cap. And let's go back to our render view, hit play. And we're not seeing anything and that's because we don't have a light in here. So let me click on my dome light. And then I wanna use a HDR map. So in my dome light and my settings here, 
I'm gonna click path. Just pick out a HDR that I have here, like so. Now let's try to render view again. And there we go. So I can also, let's brighten this up a tad bit in the exposure. Let's say like two. And then our bottle, we're seeing like all these facet faces around there. So that's an easy fix too. I could come over here and just do a subdivision and then drag my bottle under the subdivision surface. And that should smooth everything out. It's just gonna take a couple more seconds to extract that geometry, but give it a few seconds here and it should smooth everything out in there. Preparing scene, preparing, there we go. So now everything's smoothed out. Move back a little bit. We can see the middle cap up there and everything looks good. So that's how I would, you know, if you want to have a label go around like an object like that, especially like a bottle, that's how I would do it instead of messing around with the um, stacking materials inside the material blend. This is a much easier solution. And so hopefully that helped you out, you know, and if you have any more questions, leave me a comment below. Make sure you subscribe for the next tutorial and I'll see you next time. Keep creating. Thank you guys again.